An out-of-body experience is actually not just the feeling of being outside one's body, which is the first element, but also consists of two other elements. An elevated visual-spatial perspective, meaning that you're not just out of your body, but two to three meters away from your body, normally under the ceiling, in elevation, and, and you're feeling from this elevated perspective to look back at your body. We made use of virtual reality in order to trick or to preclude direct vision of, of the subject's uh, own body. We stroke the back um, um, of the experimental subject. We had a camera, not in front, but in, uh, behind the subject, two meters behind, who was filming the stroking and in real time projected this information to a head-mounted display, which was in front of the, the subject's eyes. So all the subject was seeing is the stroking, but now as if he or she was standing two meters in front. Um, so this gives the strange sensation that you feel your touch at your back while at the same time you see your own body being touched by two meters in front of you. And some of the subjects reported that they very strongly felt um, the touch rather at the position where they saw being touched than at their back, which was one important evidence of linking experience to our experimental setup. And there was a second measure when after the two, two minute of uh, one minute of stroking, sorry, um, the subject eyes, we asked, we displaced them to another position in the room and then we asked them with eyes closed to walk back to the position. And when they were doing this, they actually did not go back to the real position, to my position right now, but rather were closer actually to where they saw the body. The out-of-body experience is one example where such an own body illusion is, is apparent, but also, uh, for example, if you have the impression of a supernumerary phantom limp or mistaking, let's say, your arm for the arm of somebody else. This is very deranging and um, if it persists for a long time, we, we, can, we cannot continue to have normal functioning uh, uh, without this disappearing. So I think it goes both ways. Science has ways to trick the brain, but the way the brain perceives the world in general under normal conditions also leads to a lot of uh, illusions that can help science to ask uh, important questions.